Hello, I'm Takeaki Sugimura, a VP of Engineering at Saibo in Japan. I'm also a member of International Society for Advancement of Cytometry, ISAAC, and I have been an ISAAC innovator since last year and a member of the Site Innovation Committee. I'm enjoying these activities very well. I'd like to talk about how to build a system to introduce imaging innovations into Cytometry. Let me briefly introduce my background and our challenges. My background is originally engineering, such as image processing and digital system design. Cybo is a startup company and we are challenging to create innovative devices. We focus on digital microscopy for medical applications, such as digital pathology and cancer detection. We currently work on the development of a high-end and affordable digital microscope and cloud-based back-end software architecture. The goal is to support and automate inspections and speed them up with AI. In addition, we aim to use AI to separate cells from images for further analysis. This technology is called Intelligent Image Activated Cell Sorting and it is the technology on which our company was founded. What is the key image for innovation that combine imaging with cytometry? My image is electric board. I know there are various technologies such as microfluidic devices and single cell analysis. From my point of view, I would like to describe how to build a system for imaging. The reason my image is an electric board is because new edge devices bring new opportunities for real-time image processing implementations. What will be required for the prototyping of imaging system and the subsequent transition to commercialization? This is a schematic of the intelligent image activated cell sorter system that we developed mainly in the lab at the University of Tokyo. This is a laptop equipment for proof of concept and the image processing system consisted mainly of several high-end desktop PCs containing multi-core CPUs and GPUs and several FPGA boards to realize hard real-time system. As the next step, to make prototype for a uh, commercialization, let me think about developing as a conventional closed industrial embedded system. What we need are after deciding the specifications, consider the necessary components, sign NDAs with suppliers, and obtain the necessary information and software. In the most of cases, expensive evaluation boards and development environments need to be installed. We may need to obtain licenses for middleware too. It is also common to outsource the prototyping itself. Typically, these processes are closed, uh, take a huge amount of time and money, and only a limited organizations can do it. In contrast, many edge devices for imaging system have been supplied in recent years, allowing small startups and even individuals to proceed with the development of their own imaging systems. Here are some edge computing devices, all of which have camera interfaces, multi-core CPUs with affordable memory, programmable accelerators such as hardware encoder, GPUs, or FPGA for image processing workloads and also can be bought 200 US dollars or less. Cameras that can be connected to such boards can also be obtained for about 50 US dollars. And with each new product released each year, the performance per cost has improved dramatically every year. In terms of software, all of the above boards run Linux-based open source operating systems and development environments for image processing accelerators are usually provided free. 
With these edge devices, the development of imaging systems have certainly become much more accessible in the past few years. We are also using some of these for our development too. I believe that these edge devices will become increasingly important in realizing new instruments that combine cytometry and imaging systems. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, although I could not join in person today, I would be happy to interact with you. Thank you.